Hey guys, it is White Bullfire, like always. I know I haven't made a video, I put up a video like two days ago, but it was just me playing Overwatch with my friend Death. Um, I haven't really talked to you guys about what happened. I mean, I put up a video about having a potato computer, but I didn't really explain why it was my computer was gone for so long. So I thought I'd explain that to you guys because, yeah, I figured I'd just explain it. So, I haven't had my computer for two months about that. It, I think it, this all started June 2nd. My computer had sh shut down on me, and when it would start up, it would go to a black screen and just start beeping. I called it screaming, but it was beeping very loudly. And I was like, oh great, it's going to explode. My computer is dying as I know it. And I was... A little worried about that because I couldn't afford another computer if it came down to it. I would not be able to afford another computer. So at this time, I had checked my warranty on for my computer and my warranty had ended three days before this. By the way, guys, warranties are rigged pieces of shit. Rigged, I tell you. <laughs> Fucking rigged. You see this warranty that you bought for two years? Well, it's going to break two days after the warranty went out. I'm telling you guys, it's rigged. It is rigged with the warranties. Okay, mini rant about warranties is over. <laughs> um, so after that happened, I since my warranty was out and I didn't want to have to send my computer to Delaware because the people who make my stuff, made my computer are based in Delaware and they're a very good company, but I didn't want to have to send it there and find out the repair would be too expensive for me to get and I couldn't do anything with them and I'd have to wait for it just to be sent back and I couldn't do anything. So I went to Best Buy to go to Geek Squad. I have been to multiple Geek Squads in my lifetime in multiple areas of the country and I have always had a problem with Geek Squad. Uh, which is probably why I should have just avoided Geek Squad in the first place. But I decided to give it a go. And I really didn't want to send my computer to fucking Delaware. So, I went to Geek Squad. And, yeah. And it was sucky experience. So, I've been through a lot with Geek Squad in California, Las Vegas, etc., I've had shitty as fuck customer service from them, and I've also had a time in California where they kept my mom's computer for two months and did not fix it. Literally, my mom would call them and ask where her computer's in, and they'd just say in repairs, and that's all they would ever tell her. So I had to go in and physically demand what the hell was going on with her computer, and they're like, oh, we haven't started the repairs on it yet. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? So, another mini rant over about Geek Squad. So, here's the main point. Geek Squad. Here where I live. I decided to give it another go. Maybe not all Geek Squads are bad. Mm. Now, it wasn't bad in customer service. They are very nice. They are very uh, friendly. They were pretty, you know, they were cool. They were like about it. And I was like, yeah, my computer's screaming at me. And the guy thought that was funny. And he's like, okay, well, the diagnostics would be a hundred and blah, blah, blah dollars with taxes. And I was like, Jesus Christ, that's expensive. And he's like, but we do have a year of support for, I believe it's $200 and it covers everything from diagnostics to repairs, but it doesn't cover parts, which is a pain in the ass because parts are fucking expensive. But I understand. Okay, I understand. Parts parts are expensive. And I was like, okay, I, I, I'll do the two years or the year, not two years, uh, the year of experience, uh, support, you know, just get it over with. And he was like, okay, cool. Um, What type of computer is this? And I told him it's a what type of a computer it is. It's not a standard brand. It's not a standard brand that you can go to Best Buy and buy. It's not Lenovo or Alienware, etc. Razors, whatever. It's not that. It's Electronics, which is a company that is based out of, I believe it's Delaware or Denver. Delaware or Denver. I believe it's Delaware. And they make really good spec computers for cheaper than major brands. And he's like, okay. 
I think he he looked confused by what I told him when I told him it's electronics and I told him the model number. He looked very confused. So I was slightly worried at that, but I was like, okay, maybe he just never heard of the brand, etc. Whatever. And it was like, okay, so he checks it in. And I have to wait about about two weeks before I eh, it's about a week and a half actually before I get a call back from them and they say oh, or it's an automatic message so like hey are your repairs are done please come in blah 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 to the store on this location I was like okay so I go I go to the store and I get there and I'm like hey I'm here to pick up my computer it's fixed right and no no it is not fixed they have no clue what is wrong with my computer and so they're gonna have to send it out to the repair center and I'm like, okay, um, is that going to cost me anything extra? No, ma'am, it's not going to cost you anything extra. Uh, we'll send it out. We'll be able to mail it out today since our mail hasn't gone out yet. Blah, 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 you know. So check, send, and it's to the repair center. About two weeks, I get a call from a guy at, from the repair center. And he's like, is this miss so-and-so and i was like yes this is this is her and he's like well i have some bad news for you you see the tech checked your computer in as a notebook and i can obviously tell your computer is not a notebook and we don't have the parts to fix it you know, this is a it has the part it's from a company that doesn't supply to us and i'm like i told him it wasn't a notebook i told him it wasn't a notebook because we went over this we went over this and that irritated me a little bit and I was like okay that's fine and he's like so I'm just gonna send it back and I'm sorry but we can't do anything for you and I'm like okay that's fine not his fault not his like you know it's not any of their faults it's just kind of annoying if they had ran the di or run ran ran run the diagnostics at the Best Buy, like, if they actually ran, like, opened it up and looked at it, or just let alone looked at the parts, they should have known that it wasn't supported by Best Buy, or Geek Squad, I should have, Geek Squad, but no, they just, they didn't, so, I got it back, it was almost, an, like, a week and a half, I get it back, and the fucking manager fights me on giving me a refund on the year support at this point their support is useless to me it can't fix anything i have i don't i don't this is my computer this is what i run i have nothing like my phone i'm not gonna have a year of support on my phone when it's working thank you very much okay so i asked for a refund and the manager kind of fights me on this he's like well you haven't paid for shipping or the diagnostics. I'm like, you didn't even run the diagnostics. If you had, you would have known that my computer wasn't supported. But no, you didn't. So I want my money back. And he kind of argued a little bit, but I was like, you know what? Just just give me my money back, okay? And eventually he did. And I was just like, whatever, dude. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with the Geek Squad. Screw you guys. I'm out of here. So I call up my the company that made my computer. And I'm like, yeah, I have a broken computer here. And he's like, oh, okay. Well, since you're out of warranty, you're going to have to pay for the repairs and the parts. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's fine. And I send it to them. And about, what is it, about two weeks after I get back from RTX, I get my computer back. And it's nice and fixed. And it's perfect. And it's not a potato. And it's not screaming at me when it starts up anymore. So that is my last and final experience with Geek Squad because I don't like Geek Squad. Um, I would recommend steering clear of them. I've heard many horror stories about them and how they charge extra for computer repairs and spying on people through their computers and shit like that. There was a couple cases about that, I believe, in like 2007, 2003. Something like that. There was, like, some creeper who was working at Geek Squad. And he was, like, spying on a girl through her computer. And one guy took a can recorded a girl in a shower at her home when she was getting her computer fixed. Like, what the fuck? That's creepy. That's, that's, that's creeper level. So, that's it, guys. <laughs> but, if you had a better experience with Geek Squad, 
good for you. I have not, so I'm going to stay away from them because they can't even fix my computer anyway. And I swear to God, if they had actually ran that diagnostic like they said they did, they would have known. Oh, excuse me. They would have known. They would have known. My computer was not a goddamn notebook. I even told the dude. That's what irritated me the most because it wasted my time and it wasted their time too because the guy didn't listen to me. He's just like, I'm just going to check it in as a notebook. It's not a notebook. I told you. I told him. I, we went over this. But yeah. So that's my mini rant. I have nothing against the people who work at Geek Squad. It's just very frustrating when this stuff happens. I have nothing against Best Buy and the people who work there. It's just very frustrating. And I've had a lot of problems with Geek Squad, as I said. So, as I said, it's just very frustrating, okay? It's just very frustrating to have to go through this. Uh, so, yeah, I have my computer back. And I'm starting school in, like... Like... Too, too soon. I'm starting school too soon, okay, guys? Way too soon. I don't want to go to school, okay? Okay, I kind of do, because I kind of like school. And it's kind of an easy semester a little bit. So, I mean, not easy, but I'm just fixing some grades that I got pretty shitty the first semester that was there. So, yeah. That's it, guys. So, bah! No, wait. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Okay, I, I thought I was going to say something, but I didn't, and I'm rambling now, so I'm just going to end it here, but yeah, so, yeah, bye guys.